Hey guys, welcome back to another you know, monster video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the monster Empress Luthien. You can obtain this mythic monster right now through the Legends Pass. It is absolutely free. All you have to do is grind the pass, and then eventually you'll get it. Um, so this monster is free to play, and today I'm gonna go ahead and review it at rank five, level 150, showing you guys the best skills, the best ring setup, and everything you need to know about this new mythic monster. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So in general, as you guys can see, we have a rank five, level 150 Empress Luthien here, and if you guys are wondering how this is already a level level 150 rank 5 well with money all right <laughs> with money so if you head over to the area shop you'll see these three offers right here and i can't tap on them i'm assuming she already purchased these um and by she i mean bunky because this is her account and she gave me permission to uh review this monster on her account for this video so huge thanks to her but um if you purchase those uh, it continues sells for this monster and that is how she was able to max it out so fast so anyways we have dark protection at rank zero so blocks out half of the damage so it's kind of like damage section but specifically for dark element immune to nightmares so everybody oh this is for everybody interesting okay and then sister area possession oh okay so area immunity possession i like this i like this but hmm, i mean that's okay i feel like I feel like it would have been better if you had access to some other type of stuff, maybe dodge area in a way or something. Um, so this monster is a light element with water, I see. Let's take a look at the skills because the skills are really important. So we have royalty speech. Um, so removes positive satisfaction from all enemies, deals moderate, light damage all enemies, applies a three turn death countdown. So you could technically apply a death countdown straight away to them. You also have a lightning sword, which is a moderate direct, or light damage to one enemy, applies a three turn death countdown to one enemy, and evasion to itself. We also have a room father statistic from one enemy and then from all enemies apply sunburn. I like this skill because the thing is, um, let's say if you are using it in team wars or it doesn't really matter where you use it really, um, but it basically PRs everybody, applies a torture without let's say triggering a talent for example. So if there's a talent on the enemy side, let's say it is 7 cents. Technically, theoretically speaking, this should not really um trigger that because you're not dealing any damage you're just cleansing everything from the enemy applying a torch to them without basically triggering that which is pretty sweet so we also have royal splatter which is removes all negative status like from all allies applies evasion i like that i actually like this skill a lot this can come in handy for sure we have a sunburn to one enemy and the three turn death countdown to one enemy removes all negative status like from one ally applies a random protection you can run this if you want to uh, random protection, this could actually throw off the enemy um, if you're going to be doing like a triple speed uh, impress Luthien in Team Wars for example. Let's say this monster takes in the first turn, applies a random protection, let's say to your taunt or any other monster really and there's no pierce in the enemy side. They'll have to come up with a plan to actually uh, safely, you know, um, three coin the base. So anyways, overall, uh, the stamina costs aren't really that high and I like the cooldowns. It's just basically twos and threes, which isn't that bad. Take a look at the relics. We have staff as one of them. I like staff. All right, I'll go ahead and give him that one. Banner, you can even do Flasherian banner, Alorx banner, or something that regenerates your stamina, but I'm gonna do Alorx banner. And here, I guess we'll just, we well, can give it an anticipation, obviously. Um, but I think what I'll do is give in Black Moon. So in case you guys haven't noticed, uh, she's got a very nice speed stat comparing it to the other galactic monsters in the game. So 15,910, that's actually a good amount of speed to have. Uh, plus the fact that she is sort of like a denier slash supporter, mainly a supporting monster actually. Um, it's actually pretty good for her. So here I'm just pairing it up with uh, Naya and the Southern monster. Obviously you can go ahead and pair it up with a different attacker, but I'm just going to do Naya so we can spam attacks. And then King Adam, I mean, King Adam's actually pretty good with this monster because what you can do is apply the evasion, you know, use uh, that skill uh, to your advantage. It'll help you out. Um, but the thing is, most of the time you might face the evasion, which is going to be an issue. So right now I just go, went ahead and cleanse all the torches and stuff like that, which was pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I guess the only issue really um, is going to be uh, facing Cupid or Serpentix, for example. But here, he's not dealing too much damage, I'd see. Yep, just do the AoE there, that's completely fine. I got hit with a bunch of tortures, but I should survive it all, and I can go ahead and heal myself with this diamond skill. Cool. Alright, that's not gonna hit. Alright, it's my turn now. Um, let's see. So I do have Sunburn. What I'm thinking, I think you do have Vel yeah, Vada Melter Armor. So I'll go ahead and PER, just so that I get hit with it. And then I can go ahead and quickly cleanse that and get two extra turns. And I'm gonna survive it, but barely... Um, I'm not sure if I can actually win this. This is really difficult to win. So I could do damage boost. 
And I don't know if that's going to be enough. Oh, it is going to be enough. Surprisingly, let's go. I got so lucky there, I've got to say. <laughs> I got really lucky. All right, so just go ahead and eliminate Cupid real quick. We'll go ahead and start attacking the other one too. And this should be very easy from here on. So let me go ahead and toy around with Elvira. I'm just going to go ahead and eliminate Cupid real quick again. And again, I'm just going to toy around. So, whoops, I'm not going to eliminate her. Um, so as you can see, LRX banner just helped me out. So nice banner there. Um, so you could do evasion to yourself and apply that 3 turn death countdown. Um, or you can even do the death countdown, obviously. You also have a PER from 1 and a 12. So the sunburn will just land in. The only torture. Um, I would actually land it in, even though the monster has bulwark. Okay, that's completely fine. I guess we could go ahead and trigger the death countdown, but the monster does has PR skill, or sorry, NER skill, so she'll just get rid of it at the end of the day. But I guess we could do it for fun. <laughs> so here, this skill right here, a place evasion. Oh, whoa! I didn't even see the evasion. Okay, well, okay. You know what? Let's just finish this. Get rid of her. We turned around too much. <laughs> I wonder how this battle will go because there's uh, Galvanus here and we can't really spam attacks. So, um, let's see. So you're going to do Inspiration to everybody. I'm just going to go ahead and do NER because that's quite a lot of tortures and I don't want that to damage me. So, let that happen. Go ahead and do whatever you want. Spam your attacks. That's completely fine. So here, I might have to just use the same skill as I did the other time. Just to heal and get a damage mirror and everything like that. And now, I I think I'll just do the AoE straight away. I don't really want to wait. Seriously, I didn't want to wait at all. I did get hit with, uh, or sorry, I have a skill mirror now, which is pretty sweet. But let me see what I can do here. There isn't much I can do. Does this monster have a NER spammable skill? I don't think so, right? That would have been pretty sweet. Like, if you had a spammable NER skill, I feel like that would have been pretty sweet. Removes all negative status effects from one ally, applies over Okay, so it's one turn cooldown. It's not spammable, but you do have that there. I think I'll just switch it with this. I don't think you really need two death countdowns two death countdown skills. Um like if you have this one, you might as well not use this one. Seriously. Like I'd rather run the Royal Soul in case if you, you know, want that. Because it, it will come in handy. Nowadays, like whenever you attack somebody, um they will hit you with something back. Vodamelter armor will deal damage to you, seven sense will deal damage to you, you know, torches and stuff like that. So it'd be nice if you have something like that. It can definitely come in clutch rather than applying death countdown, which is very easy to cleanse. You know what I mean? Like so far we haven't really used this skill at all, right? Because it's better to use this because look, the monsters are starting off with tortures. Unless maybe I had a monster that would give torture immunity or something, then sure. But um Anyways, I think I'll just do the um, maximum life increase and stuff like that. Um, you do have 7 cents, don't you? So I'll just do PR. I'm going to get hit with something. I'm going to do this. Um, let's do this real quick, just for fun. Get hit with rapid tense. I don't want to do too much. Okay, you know what? Let's do a little bit more, I guess. Not too much, just, just a little bit. Okay, oh, well, wow, that's... Mm, I think I messed up. I did mess up. Yep. Maybe I shouldn't have triggered it too much. <laughs> uh, I forgot. We're going up against Cupid, and Cupid is... Nasty with his skills. Cupid is just like that. So let's just go ahead and apply the Curse Countdown. So Death Countdown kicks in. After three or four turns. Oh, there we go. Black Moon. I forgot it. I actually had that equipped. Sweet. Uh we're gonna we're gonna die from the electrified for sure. Unless unless Wait. One turn before death. You die before that. Nah, we're dead. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Plus even even if she didn't die and then she ended up dying to the torture, she could she couldn't come back because there's no revival essence, but the monster overall is actually pretty good. Um, even though we kind of lost like two of those battles, um, I would say the monster does have uh, a lot of stuff. Like if you check mark like PER, she has it. NER, she has it. Right? She ha even has access to evasion, uh, death countdown, which could come in handy and stuff like that. Another NER skill. I would recommend running another N NER skill though. Uh, I really like her relic slots, by the way. And then also speed stat is very nice. So the only thing that's really lacking is just her traits. Traits are literally horrible. I'm not really a huge fan. But other than that, even the elements are pretty good against the current meta, right? Like Cupid, Serpentix, they have they have like light skill. And this monster is, you know, water and light. So 
that'll be weak but anyways guys overall monster good i recommend investing in her um but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about her and that's going to be pretty much it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out